Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. We're just a few days away from the start of September, which is also the start of meteorological fall in terms of record and climate keeping uh, for the uh, tri-state. But it's going to feel a lot more like summer yet again tomorrow, just like today, maybe even a degree or two hotter tomorrow versus what we had outside today. Kind of depends on where you are and if you see one of those pop-up storms that could briefly cool you down. But it's still going to be very humid, very muggy as well. But as I mentioned before the break, everyone, for the most part today, making it into or at least at the 90 degree mark, a couple degrees cooler to the north and northwest Fairfield only making it up to uh, 87 today but all the way down to the south Madisonville a high of 92 and again we could be a couple degrees hotter tomorrow compared to what we had today and looking at the month so far as uh, we expected with the climate outlook earlier uh, in the month uh, most of the month even though we have been hot it is uh, the middle of summer uh, but for the normals, for the most part, with really the exception of today and yesterday, most of the uh, temperatures at or below the average for uh, this time of the year. And we're going to be continuing with some very pleasant weather, a little bit below average for the first week, at least most of the first week of September as well. We'll take a look at that extended forecast in just a moment. Outside right now, after our afternoon, as expected as well, with the humid pattern, saw a couple of pop-up showers. We had some earlier this afternoon across Pike County, crossing into far northwest. Western Dubois County, also one just north of Tell City in Perry County, and right over downtown Owensboro this afternoon as well. With a brief downpour, that's really our forecast for the next couple of days. With a pop-up storm during the heat of the day, the sun goes down and things fade away, like that one shower that you see there pushing out of Hopkins County along I-69 and really falling apart as it approaches the Roberts area. Still maintaining a little bit of moisture there, but really fading away. And that's what we'll be seeing as we head into tomorrow. But by Monday evening, uh, Monday afternoon to Monday evening, we'll see a little bit more coverage, more numerous showers and storms. It could be in a scattered fashion, so a little bit greater of a chance compared to what we had today and what we'll see tomorrow. But outside right now, a calm but very warm and muggy Saturday night as we look out for, towards the Twin Bridges from our Ellis Park Tower camera. And this is how it looked from downtown Evansville today on our Superior Ag Tower camera. Once again, those puffy cumulus clouds bubbling up through the heat of the day. We avoided the rain chances here in the Evansville Metro, again, with the exception of that downpour over the Owensboro Riverfront. But a beautiful sunset again. 79, the current temperature of the airport, but that dew point at 70. That is well into the humid category and we could be pushing the very humid range dew points between 70 to 75 by Monday and early Tuesday. It really depends on the timing of that cold front when it ushers in those uh, less that drier, less humid air and also those cooler temperatures as well. But temperatures again for the most part right now, mid 70s, even some lower 70s across Illinois. Fairfield at 71, Carmi 72, but still 79. Calhoun, Owensboro and Evansville 73, Santa Claus 74 in Jasper. And our storm tracker shows us those uh, that moisture quickly fading away we stay mostly clear for the rest of the evening but this complex of storms is what will gradually shift our way slow moving over the next couple of days and that's what's going to give us more widespread chances of showers and storms as we head through the day Monday and should begin to wrap up hopefully by early Tuesday morning future tracker actually wraps things up uh, closer to daybreak on Tuesday morning but first we have some widespread showers to get through on Monday tomorrow hot humid once again like today we see those pop-up storms through the heat of the afternoon. Highs again, upper 80s to low 90s. And it's going to feel a lot like summer. Now as we head into Monday, we'll start our afternoon with a few spotty showers increasing in coverage as that cold front pushes in from the northwest. Here we are 730 Monday night. The future tracker kind of fades things away though as we head into Monday night and early Tuesday morning. But warm and muggy for tonight. Hot and humid for tomorrow and your 70 forecast. Uh, shows the very humid conditions continuing from Monday and into Tuesday. That cold front that moves through Tuesday evening will slowly knock down the temperatures, not just our daytime highs, but check out some of those nighttime temperatures, maybe even in the upper 50s by Thursday night, Friday morning. Ryan, it looks like yet again week three of Home Team Friday. Not only the uh, lower heat, but low humidity. Beautiful conditions for football Friday night.